legendary names, legendary inventions. But who invented one of the most significant inventions of all time, the computer? Many embarked on the quest to invent such a machine, but who was first? And what machine qualifies as the first real computer? In 1834, British mathematician Charles Babbage conceived of the analytical engine, a machine with a memory and calculating unit which could be programmed. The analytical engine was never built, but would it have worked? In 1991, a difference engine based on a simpler Babbage design was built. It operates exactly as Babbage predicted, 150 years earlier. Can mathematical statements be proved true or false? This question became the foundation of theoretical computer science. Alan Turing, a British mathematician and cryptanalyst, imagined a machine that could compute any problem that was presented in a set of instructions. In essence, a general purpose computer. The universal Turing machine was a conceptual blueprint for automatic computation. Meanwhile, German engineer Konrad Sousa built a series of machines for his calculations. Sousa's Z3 was the earliest fully functioning program-controlled machine. But war isolated Sousa, and his work wasn't widely known. Technology advances in World War II catapulted computing into a new modern era. American physicist John Mockley and engineer Presper Eckert built the ENIAC, the first all-electronic computer controlled by a program. It was much faster than previous machines, but had no memory to store programs and needed to be tediously rewired for each problem. After the war, ENIAC was declassified and unveiled to members of the scientific community. Now they saw the importance of storing the program in memory. They rushed to build their own computers. The Manchester Baby was a prototype of just such a stored program computer. Built by Manchester University, it ran a program from memory on June 21, 1948. A patent for the computer has never been awarded. Conrad Sousa tried in the 1940s, but his first patent application was denied for being vague, and his second was delayed for decades. In 1964, a patent on the ENIAC was awarded to its inventors, Eckert and Mockley. The Eckert Mockley Computer Corporation had been acquired in 1950 by the company that became Sperry Rand. Sperry Rand now demanded royalties from anyone building a computer. When competitor Honeywell refused, a fierce legal battle ensued. But Honeywell's lawyers uncovered a little-known fact. In 1940, John Vincent Atanasoff, an assistant professor at Iowa State, had shown his computing machine to a visitor, John Mockley. Because of that visit, the court's opinion was that Mockley and Eckert derived their idea from a prior work. The general concept of the computer was not patentable. So, who invented computers? Not one person, but many, influenced and inspired by each other. Not a single breakthrough, but a series of incremental steps that continues even today as new generations pursue new realms of computing and its vast possibilities.